All right, we're back in the kitchen now, and uh, we're sticking with the, with the vegetarian theme, right? Yes, because, you know, as I said, just because you're not eating meat doesn't mean you don't want comfort food. That's right. You want comfort food, mm -hmm. you want it to taste good, so it is mm -hmm. spaghetti squash. Oh, yes. So we're going to make tetrazzini. Mm -hmm. uh, tetrazzini, which was one of those casseroles that got made after Thanksgiving and after Christmas with right. turkey leftovers. Right. Typically, like noodles and a cream sauce and then hunks of leftover turkey, and huh. often not the world's best maybe casserole. Not. Maybe one of the ones that gives casseroles a bad name. Perhaps. But, so we wanted to do something to reclaim the awesomeness of the tetrazzini. Okay. So instead of using noodles, we're using our friend spaghetti squash. So this is a great way of uh, tricking the brain if you are yes. looking for something that's pasta-ish. Yes. But you don't want to eat pasta. Yes. And I mean, I have nothing against pasta. No, not I at all. I love pasta, but this is also a great way to make a really robust vegetarian dish yeah. that your children will eat. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you remember our friend spaghetti squash? You yes. just cook them and then this happens. I always do mine in the microwave. Oh, you um, do, huh? Oh, it's, it's just that so, simple. Oh, my goodness. It's just so much faster as yeah. well. And if I don't have to turn the oven on and wait for it to preheat, uh, and you know all that. Yeah. All, How I mean, long do you usually keep it in for? Do you remember? In the oven or in the microwave? In the microwave. Oh, I don't know. Somewhere between five and twenty minutes. That's good. Uh, <laughs> how's that's that good for range. a range? No, um, it's still shorter than uh, baking. Yeah, it, no, right? probably seven minutes. I would say, okay. um, depending on how big the squash is. And remember, you always give it a couple of stabs. Stab it a few times. All right. So then once you've got that all done, uh, I'm going to make a quick sauce. So a few little mushrooms sautéed off. And then to really kick this baby into high gear, mm -hmm. uh, I've got the dried mushrooms. You get mm. these at everywhere at all the shops. Soak them in a bit of white wine oh, for five what you did? minutes. Just a little. It's going to burn off if you're feeding the kids. Yeah. Not to worry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then that way the bottle is open. I mean, the bottle was open. You might as well pour a glass. Come on, a little bit of open. flour and um, a green herb. Let's go with basil. Okay. And then that gets stirred in, and then you make a white sauce. So this is cooking. This oven isn't uh, stove isn't quite hot enough. So then you yep. stir in your white sauce, your milk, and then I'm going to stir in my mozzarella, mm. and it's all going to thicken up because it's magical here in the television. It sure is. Uh, it certainly is. The television Magic is TV an instant camera. oven. And then, okay, that's okay. Give her, give her, stir. Yeah? Yeah, stir. So stir that all around, and in reality, it actually gets nice and thick, and then you can add this all whole of that mess good stuff. In. Now, at this point, if you wanted to add another element, like say you had some leftover chicken, yes. that would be fine. Okay. Uh, that, that would be absolutely fine. But as it is, this is gonna be really, really rich, and because I got those dried mushrooms in there, it's going to be really, really flavorful. It's giving it a lot of layers of good. A lot of layers right? of good. And then a final layer of good. We turn this off. We pop it into our handy dandy. Yeah, I know it looks like a mess. Not to worry. Not to worry. It's going to taste delicious. This is actually an older Chatelaine recipe that I still make so often. Oh, do you really? I just, well, it's easy. I just love this. And my kid really won't eat squash. Yeah. You know, like if I gave him a hunk of squash, uh, he would not eat that. But he would he eat, eat this. this. So then we do a little decorate. Oh, good stuff. You know, if again, if the children don't want to have the tomatoes, you know what to do about that. Yeah. Uh, and then make them eat them. Just joking. Take them uh, off. That's right. <laughs> and then the secret to making anything into a casserole is just to liberally parmesan it on top. And then this would all be hot, so it really just has to go into the oven to broil for a couple minutes to get that um, lid a little bit more toasty. Right. If you happen to have little dishes the like little this, individuals. Four, four to six, depending on the size of the dish. I love those. We do an easy emerald kale salad. This is such a fantastic salad. It's really, really simple. A great way to have kale. A couple of whole wheat croutons on there. Mm -hmm. So it turns out this actually is a low calorie meal. This is a low calorie, low -calorie meal, meal but full still, of flavor, but really, really good for you. So, so satisfying. Very nice. Again, 